it's 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 very frustrating to sort of envision this some envision that this is going to be like this for a long time. She she's very determined and she wants to do what her brothers are doing. I'm just more of a, more of a optimistic kid. I'm more of a all right, I've got CP, let's make the best of it. I mean, there's several difficulties and challenges, you know, every day that, you know, people just don't realize. We, we hardly separate. We almost always do it. I spend as much time with them and, and uh, I enjoy every moment. Jacob uh, is it was born normally, developed, everything was perfectly fine, and he was involved in a near drowning accident about a year and a half ago, and um, suffered a severe brain injury from that. He had a traumatic birth, and it caused um, mild cerebral palsy, and she wasn't even supposed to live, and she has just come so far. Honestly, I don't look, I don't look at my disability is, oh my gosh, I have a disability. I have, like, for example, say, oh my gosh, I have CP. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be uh, just in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Lauren's gonna have to undergo two major surgeries in the next four months, so there's there's a lot of challenges out there that people don't realize. I mean, they, they don't have a clue of what it's like. She faces several challenges, um, but I'd say her main challenge is just physically just getting around, just being independent. Compared to where we were a year ago today, we far surpassed what I'm sure that they ever expected. So he is uh, doing a lot of therapy, and we're basically just trying to rebuild this little guy's brain. Courage, strength, spirit to never give up, and that's how I kind of live my life. Kind of a never give up, you know, just keep going, keep pushing. I'm kind of like that. I heard about Fragile Kids through Katie's physical therapist. And we were looking for a way to make, help make Katie more independent to help her with her walking because she's not able to walk on her own yet. I was shocked and amazed when I called, I think the first time. And they were literally like, yeah, what do you need? And so I rattled off some of the things and she just said okay we just need to fill out this application and then we'll send it right out to you and I was like what? It's just amazing how that foundation uh, helps the families and we, we've been very lucky to have one here you know in Atlanta to help us out with the with the needs for him. They actually put a lift in our van for um, Lauren which was the total life-changing experience for us, just being able to transport her and get her around, because before we couldn't. I mean, it's very hard just getting her out of the house. They've really helped us out with equipment, you know. They gave me the lift that I have now in, the, in my van, or um, a, stroller that I had, a stroller that I had when I was younger. Um, easy locks which if it wasn't for the easy looks, if it wasn't for fragile kids, there would, there would be no way I would be able to get around if it wasn't for them. She helps me keep straight what's important, what, what's important in life. I mean, she has a great attitude and she just helps keep me grounded and she's always happy and um, she's just, she helps all of us, I think, in that regard. I absolutely, positively love to read. He likes his music. We listen to music pretty much all the time. Uh, and books, books are really sort of his thing right now, and we can really sort of engage him with, with books. She loves her brother. <laughs> she laughs at him. He, uh, he feels like he's, he doesn't have any special. He's normal, like uh, every kid and he encouraged me to go back to school. He said, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. It was kind of by chance that I found out about them, and I'm so grateful that I did. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say call them first. Call them before you fill out any Medicaid paperwork, call them before you do anything. If it wasn't for you, 
none of this, absolutely none of this, from 1990 to where we are now, none of this could have happened. So, from me, just plain and simply, thank you.